Hi, I'm Lavelle Porter from Big Onion Walking Tours for Destination Harlem TV. So we're standing at the corner of 110th Street and 8th Avenue, also known as Frederick Douglass Boulevard, next to a statue of Frederick Douglass. 110th Street is also Central Park North. And uh, we're here today talking about the early history of the neighborhood of Harlem. So the story of Harlem begins with the story of the island of Manhattan itself. Now, the first people to live on the island were Native Americans. They were known as the Lenape, it's spelled L-E-N-A-P-E. And it's from the Lenape that we get the name Manhattan. That is taken from the Lenape name for the island, Manahatta, uh, which meant island of many hills. Now most people who've been to New York can tell there's not a lot of hills left. A lot of that's been flattened out with all the building projects through the years. And up in Manhattan, you can still see some of the hills that gave the island its name. In 1609, there was a ship called the Half Moon that sailed into New York Harbor. That ship was owned by a company from the Netherlands called the Dutch East India Company. And the captain of the ship is a British sailor named Henry Hudson. And that's the name I recognize from various places around the city, including the river on the west side of Manhattan. And in retrospect, we look at that ship as a representation of the first two European nations that settled here. Uh, by the 1620s, the first Dutch settlers began to arrive. And by 1626, they'd established a colony on the southern tip of the island, uh, where today's financial district is, below Wall Street. And Wall Street actually was a physical wall that was a northern boundary of that original colony. So in a similar fashion, Harlem's name also comes from the Netherlands. In 1658, a group of Dutch settlers explored the area north of the New Amsterdam colony and decided to establish the village of New Harlem, uh, named for the town of Harlem in the Netherlands, spelled with two A's, H-A-A-R-L-E-M. And uh, the village of New Harlem, established in 1658, was essentially above where present-day 86th Street is in Manhattan, to the north of the island. So we're standing at the corner of 110th Street and 8th Avenue, which is also known as Frederick Douglass Boulevard. And this is really the southern boundary of Harlem here at 110th Street. Uh, today when we're talking about the boundaries of Harlem, you have 110th Street at Central Park North, and it goes all the way up to 155th Street, which was originally the northernmost street on the 1811 grid plan. And it stretches all the way across from the Harlem River on the east side to the Hudson River on the west side. So that's a rather large area. There's a lot of different communities within the expanse of what we call Harlem today. Now, for most of its history, it remained farmland through the 1700s and 1800s, with a few exceptions. You had a few wealthy New Yorkers who established country estates here. Uh, this was kind of like the suburbs, if you want to think of it that way. And uh, one New Yorker who had an estate here was a man by the name of Alexander Hamilton, first secretary of the treasury and founder of the Bank of New York. Uh, he had a house built here called Hamilton Grange, completed in 1801, just three years before Hamilton was assassinated in that famous duel with Aaron Burr. So Hamilton Grange is actually still here in Harlem. It was recently moved off of a city block and moved into the corner of St. Nicholas Park. Uh, and that was an example of some of the country estates that were here, uh, but mostly remained farmland through the 1800s. Uh, by the end of the 1800s, you had more and more buildings being built in Upper Manhattan, as it was expected that more and more people would move and live in this section of Manhattan. 